Okay, what is good boys and girls? Just going to be doing a standard deviation back testing today. And that is due to popular demand. And I'll get straight into it. And I'll be doing the week that we just had. And yeah, I think most of you probably know how I mark out the standard deviation. And I'll get, I'll go over it one more time when I'm on the charts. Let's see how far we can. Do that to be yeah, perfect. And I will do full AQ. Just full AQ. You can probably skip up the video a little bit if you wanted. Just to skip this. But I'm still handicapped. Oh, I can't do that. <coughs> 18. Well, we can only do a few days, unfortunately. Oh, I've got to do this again. Okay, so if you don't know my chart colors, here are my chart colors, I guess. It's just all black, except for the bullish candles are white. Then my canvas is... I can remember what canvas I have, but it's like B. I'm not going to be able to find it. I'll just do that. Okay, so. I'll just do that. Okay. So. Obviously. New, new day open. Not true day open. We can skip this up a little bit until the daily trend is started. <clears throat> so, it does look like we're getting a little manipulation here. So, if we start trending upwards, and this is just our KO3, as we have like this, with our manipulation just being like this, we can then probably take this. Okay, so yeah, that's good, and clearly daily trend is to the upside. I'll probably say this is more of a manipulation leg, because this is more of the accumulation leg and not this. And I'll put it like that. And wick to wick on the swing which was the manipulation leg. And this is perfect because this aligns with some form of liquidity for us to sweep. So probably could just set the limit order like this. And then just have stops like this or I'll leave a five point stop, which yeah, it does sort of coincide with that and then what I usually do for a take profit is true day open which is midnight and then new day open which is 1800 but I usually do try and take it down at least to at least to the manipulation leg which clearly does coincide with that I would wait for an entry trigger, but we do have this liquidity that we can take out in turtle soup. With standard deviation, turtle soups are insane. They give really, really good setups. And we have this huge new day opening gap. Do we have it on AQ? No, we don't. Weird. So, let's just, yeah, I'll set the limit order there. Wait, what just happened? Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully I didn't mess up anything. Okay, no, I didn't. Oh. <clears throat> Let me just... 
and then we just do like a cheeky 1.5 and we can just play this out Oh, we didn't get filled. No. But as you can see, we did turtle soup this, tap into the two area, but we didn't get our fill, which is annoying. And we just smacked the TP in like a few candles. As you can see, came back down into this range, tap that, and then, yeah. Could have even just played a little bit of ping pong here. I'm going to remove this limit order now though. Because it's over. As you can see this 2.5 did have a little bit of a reaction. Which you probably could have taken. But I'm not going to really take that. Oh, did the new day open? Yeah, it did. Mess. Wait, my shots we get in. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. So, yeah, I'm actually just gonna skip up to the next day, to be honest. Let's just do start of this session. Go on the 15. Monday, new day open. Is here. Really a manipulation there. Where is it? Where is this? Oh, it's all the way up here. Okay, so the contracts must have rolled over here. And I'm probably just gonna measure this out as the manipulation leg. And because there's no liquidity for us to take out, we're gonna oh I'm going to have to wait for more entry triggers. I'm skipping way too far ahead now. Probably should have tried to take this. Could have gone down to like the 15 second chart. And seen a rejection block. But you can see clearly did tap that. Have some reaction. But then we just blew straight through it. We had another reaction here. Let's see if we can get like an inversion or something. Well, we sort of missed our entry now. Now London is coming up. I'm going to watch these now because this is a maximum point where price would like to reverse. As you can see, we just retested this and saw a reaction. So you can also use standard deviation not just for reversals but also for points of interest when looking let's see. okay i'm just gonna go up now skip up by one minute now and we can try again an entry here okay, so we suit these highs let's see if we can have we see anything on the 30 second or 15 second this takes too long okay 30 second inversion. Let's just take this. Wow. What's this doing? Okay. So we just lost that. Okay, nice. <coughs> well, we probably could have taken this rejection block actually. This is just going to be, should have already entered up here. Wait, what's this? Um, sorry if this video is a bit all over the place. But with standard deviation, it's sort of hard to backtest just because. Yeah, it's a very sloppy to backtest. And we didn't get tapped in because I set the wrong shit. 
<laughs> now we get stopped out. Oh, I love this. This is actually so funny. If we can soup all these highs, all these like relative equal highs. Okay, we just broke through that level. Let's see what we do now. I'm going to take this inversion that we just had. And just leave stops there. Oh. And because we have this gap, I'm just going to run it all the way down to here. 11R. And then I am also going to just go to the midnight open. Should be up here. Trim some at the midnight open and then at the 1800 open. Get this limit order off, market order at. Oh, if it gets stopped, that'll be fun. Probably. I'm going to skip this up more because. It is probably going to take us a while to hit these TPs. I'll go break even here. Because we had a decent risk to reward now. And we're also inside of this 15 minute and 30 minute gap. I'll just put on the 5 minutes so it looks a bit. Now that we're at this 2.5, I can't even trim that much, to be honest. Oh, okay, so we just smack the TP. But as you can see, pretty good trade. Literally just caught the high of day to the low of day, which is insane. And as you can see, tapped back into this two area. If you wanted to be cheeky, you could probably take this and just start playing ping pong with the chart. We have a 30 second inversion, which I mean, I'd like to take this. We can go break even at these heights because that's already a 2.5. What the? What? Bruh, what's going on here? Okay, so we're just going to have to stay on this 30 second chart, I guess. We can just leave like, that's all the way up to there. I don't really think we're going to come back all the way up to there though. But we can just keep trimming positions because they're just going to let me. I'm just going to do like five cons here. Five. Okay. Profit. Can I buy it at market? Wait, where's this chart? Boy, this trade Zella thing is actually so bad. What's going on? Okay. Move that to break even. Just move this all the way up here. Two. Okay, so we got a one minute inversion to the downside. Probably gonna get stopped out now. Yep. And then I lost all of those standard deviations, but we can go ahead and put them back on the chart. I don't know where my 2.5. So we sort of missed the entry, but we can just see how this plays out. Comes back up into this one area. And then, yeah, 
as you can see, Christ comes back all the way up to what I think would be midnight open. Yeah, midnight opens all the way up here. Oh, what just happened? Oh, okay. So that's a back testing session done. Um, I don't, we took one loss. Wait, how did we take the loss? Well, we, yeah, I think we took one. Yeah, we took one loss. And then we had the instance of us not getting filled, which was annoying. So, yeah, I recommend putting your stops. Well, sorry, your limit order is just below by a couple of ticks. And, yeah. Hope that sort of makes sense how I mark out my standard deviations. And another thing to mention is I only really look for reversals at the negatives and not at the positives. But of course, this did show some support for us. I hate saying support and resistance, bro. I'd sound like such a bot, but it does. Um, it does resistance support but yeah you can just see how the chart like price just uses these levels plays into these levels so well and that's why i love standard deviation so yeah thanks for watching and i'll probably be doing more standard deviation back testing sessions and enjoy your weekend i'll see you bye